Good evening, and welcome to tonight's crew call. My name is Jimmy Hayes Nelson. I'm the founder of the crew, and I'd like to welcome you to tonight's call. The fact that you have plugged into tonight's call lets us all know that you're really serious about being a successful coach, about achieving your goals, about helping other people reach theirs. And if you're a new coach, this is your first time on, um, you're probably wondering why I have mouse ears on. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but more than anything, I just want to say welcome to our team. Obviously, you have a sponsor coach who cares very deeply about your success if they have pointed you in the direction of this call because they know that successful coaches are engaged coaches. They're the coaches that plug in once a week to recharge those batteries. No matter if you had a good week or a bad week, you're feeling down about your business or yourself or your fitness, you're on cloud nine. Either way, this is a great place for us to come and kind of uh, readjust. I looked at I look at these as a uh, little chiropractic sessions, right? Maybe something's just a hair off and we're just going to crack that back into place, get you back out doing the activities you need to do. Um, I really honor and value your time. I know that we're all busy people with busy lives and families and it's around dinner time and it's a Monday night. And we're just getting the week kicked off. Um, but the fact that you've invested this time just means so much. Uh, so I hope that you make the most of this time, that you have something uh, to take notes with. Smart people take notes. And as I'm reminded by Shalene Johnson all the time, uh, she encourages people to take notes with either a pencil, pen, on a piece of paper. Uh, we do so much digitally, and I love my little um, my iPads and my phones and everything else, and I keep to new lists on that. But when I come to take notes, I literally, especially important stuff like this, I have a journal because uh, loose pieces of paper get lost. My, I have, like I've, I've shown you guys before, I usually have four legal pads of ideas and or scratch paper on my desk. But when it comes to something where I can learn from an expert, learn from somebody else who's had success, it goes in a hardbound book. Uh, so I would encourage you to invest in something like this. It's not expensive, um, but you know that I have, I can't tell you how many of these I have, and they're worth hundreds of thousands of times the amount of money that I spent on the book. Uh, because of the knowledge that's inside, and I revisit them often. So thank you so much for coming. We normally open the call with recognition and rank advancements and all this, but I need to get to our special guest because, um, A, I'm so thankful that she has um, taken the time to speak with our team. Uh, I respect her so much. She's a dear friend of mine, and she is a busy, busy woman. Uh, I'm going to do her a little intro here, and then I will pop up her she has her own slide. And please give my wife um, big, big props for putting these slides together every week. I can't take credit for any of these. Uh, she puts them together every week. So please let Kelly know how much you appreciate her doing that and taking care of our, our crew uh, community challenge groups and everything. She is the glue that holds this stinking team together. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about my friend, Julie Voris. Uh, Julie Voris, uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing for a few years now. I remember taking Maybe she, I think she might have been the person that introduced me to Pio at a Nashville game plan event. And I don't even remember how many years ago that was, two, three maybe. Um, we probably met before, but I remember that class specifically because I was like, I dig this chick and this workout is hard. And um, so let me tell you a little bit about her so you know exactly who you're about to hear from and why this is so vital. So before I get to her stats, the ears, the pre-show music, She's probably the only person I know that's a bigger Disney fan than I am. Um, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, I don't know this for a fact, Julie, but that your family goes often enough that even though you live in Indianapolis, uh, that you have season passes. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm going to go out on a, you know, on a limb and say that's probably the case because this girl is Disney through and through, and we, we share that uh -huh. bond uh, between the two of us, but she's also a master trainer. Uh, she'll probably tell you about her schedule and how, how busy she is um, and how many classes she teaches, but probably one of the most fit people I know, an amazing instructor. If you ever get a chance to learn from her, be certified by her, take a class, please do. Um, the energy that she brings on the stage and in her classes is just infectious. It's amazing. Uh, she is a combined 11 star diamond coats. She is a four-time elite coach. She has already made elite for this year. And she is a member of the Millionaires Club. Yes, sir, Bob. So she knows something about being successful in this business. So I'm going to find her on this attendee thing, make her a panelist, let her pop up her camera, if that's possible. Or if not, we'll at least get audio. But I'm hoping uh, make panelist. Yes. 
We'll see if technology works for us today. Can you hear me? I can hear you. So that's Yay. step one. I want you to see me because I have a special something on my head for you. Oh, no way. Are we going to match? Is this going to be awesome? And somebody very awesome. take a picture of this and like text it to me afterwards. <laughs> I'm just making sure your camera's not hidden behind. I have too many things open on my desktop here, which I've learned <laughs> not to do. Obviously not well enough yet. I wonder if I should turn it. There's a little, I see a little button that says camera. I wonder if oh I yeah, where it says on. webcam, you can just say start sharing. Oh, oh that's awesome. <laughs> Yay. Mickey ears and mini ears. Glora. Um, and maybe maybe we do have annual passes i'm just maybe maybe, maybe. we do maybe and i might I see a little mickey over your shoulder i have to share this with you julie because i don't think i've told this to you <laughs> um so nobody tell my son who's in the other room still hanging out in a diaper today for some reason uh, but so julie we're about to to treat all our diamond coaches to a trip in new orleans and because we're so go 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 mom and dad with business right afterwards we are surprising asher with his first trip oh to the walt goodness. disney world for four oh, days uh, i wish i could go maybe you middle. need um do you need me to go along just to help come on I, I need a tour guide i don't know my way around the parks very well so you know better than i do <laughs> um so julie thank you so much for taking the time to oh, my pleasure. chit chat with us tonight and as as julie and i kind of talked a little bit uh, leading up to this um, I'd asked her, you know, what, what is something that she's been really passionate about or been really working with her team about? And I love the fact that she brought up Coach Basics and just getting back to the basis. And Julie, if you don't know, the way we've kind of uh, advertised this call tonight is I called uh, speed down, no, s slow down to speed up is the way that I am just kind of talking about basics. So I'm going to shut up for a little bit and let somebody who's been a coach as long as you have and the, with the success that you have, um, why you think coach basics and really focusing on, on these basic daily tasks are so vital and important. Cool. Well, thank you very much for having me on this call because I was in that room when you did your crew meeting at summit and was blown away by what I saw last year to what I saw this year and the growth and the connection that you have with your team and the connection that you have just with the business and I, I was kind of crying in the back a little bit <laughs> to myself. Hey. It was just really awesome. So um, I hope your team knows what an amazing leader they have in you and what you're doing for them. So thank you for having me on this call. I, I don't know that I have a whole lot of groundbreaking stuff to share, but I am, you asked what I'm passionate about and I am phenomenally passionate about coach basics. The minute that it came out, uh, I, we started it on Monday and I was fortunate that I had started a small Facebook group of newer coaches that had come on this year and was kind of doing my own deal. And that is something I've struggled with always throughout this business is to have training in place. And I know a lot of other very successful coaches have it. Um, and a lot of other very successful coaches only do beach body. When you're doing a multitude of different things, sometimes it's hard to find that kind of blue sky time where you don't have anything else going on to sit down and come up with a, a training system. So I had put together a smaller Facebook group and was, was doing some stuff on my own that I knew would help them be successful. But as soon as Coach Basics came out, I'm like, oh, yes, this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. And we just hit the ground running with it. And you were talking about tools. I'll show you two of mine that I use. This one is, can you see it? It's just a little at a glance calendar. I was a high school English teacher, so I need lesson plans. And I have written my coach basics lesson plans in my calendar huh. so that I can look at it for the week. And that is something that really helps me. I need to see the process rather than, okay, Monday, we're just going to post about this. And then Tuesday, we're just going to post about this. There is such a process to the coach basics program that makes it we, we can duplicate it now and there's power in that so i use one of my main tools is this at a glance calendar and i write down and i have written for the entire 60 days the two mod modules 
I have written out my lesson plans. Can it be tweaked? Of course it can be tweaked. However, it's a process that my coaches, when they're finished with this with me, will be able to take out and do with their own team. That is crucial. It's a process that can be repeated. Do I care that this group of new coaches knows that they can go right in their own back office and find out what their assignment is for tomorrow? I do not care. I love that they know that because you know why? They're going to be able to do that for their team. I want them to know that it has nothing to do with me being a master trainer or teaching fitness classes or doing whatever. I want them to know that this business can be for everyone and it's duplicatable. It's repeatable. It's a process. It's not some magic that I've come up with. It's something that they can do. I think that's crucial. So, you know, I listened to a little bit of the buzz at um, Success Club Leadership Conference when they were talking about it. And I could hear some people saying, well, do I want them to know that I'm not creating this. I want them to know I'm not creating this. I want them to know they can go right in their back office and find it because when they're done with this, they're going to do this same process with their coaches. And then their coaches are going to know that it's right there in their back office and they're going to do this same process with their coaches. So now it becomes not the Julie Voris process. It becomes the team process, which is so much more powerful than something I could make up. So the process is the key. The process is the key. Another reason why I love it so much is because every day there are these different assignments, which are great, but they often include videos, which means that our coaches get to hear different voices. Yes. They don't just get to see me. They don't just get to hear me, but they get to hear different voices through these YouTube videos. They get to hear them and they get to see the visual of the process being explained. For example, talking about earning money through rank advancement. They get to hear someone talk about that. Denise Tina, in this case, talks about it. And then see the visual of how it really plays out. That's powerful because now it's not just coming from me. It's coming from corporate, which means it applies to everyone. So again, it plays right back into that process. So they get the videos, they get to hear from different voices, which if you're a parent, you know that sometimes you can say the same thing over and over to your child and then your teacher can say, their teacher can say it and all of a sudden it's like gospel. So different voices are crucial. That's another reason, <clears throat> excuse me, another reason why I love the Coach Basics program. Another reason is we get to add our own stories. So like Jimmy said, we've been coaches for a little while, but that really doesn't, isn't as important. Uh, it's just adding in your own stories. We might have a few more stories because we've been coaching a little bit longer, but it doesn't mean they're any more powerful than someone else's stories. They're, we just might have a few more of them. And the beautiful part about Beachbody is you can go on the website, you can go anywhere on Facebook, you can find stories all day long of people that are having success with the products in the Beachbody Challenge, with Shakeology, et cetera, et cetera. So you get to take the assignment that is in that Coach Basics program and then add your own stories. So for example, today's assignment for my group was talking about Success Club. I got to add in, okay, now I've made Success Club X amount of months you know, in a row. I, this is how I continue to achieve it. This is what I do. So I take that assignment that is already in the process and I add in my own story. So now it helps them connect. Okay, this is a, a real person who has lots of, of activities on their plate and they're still making it work rather than just here's a blanket template assignment that comes. You take that blanket template assignment, but you get to add in your own stories and your own experiences. And as we've said lots of times through, um, like Jimmy mentioned, the game plan training and all the trainings that we've been to, they don't always have to be your personal stories. I could share a story about Jimmy or someone on Jimmy's team or a story about someone else on someone else's team. It's still one team. There's still stories. And my story might not relate to someone, but Jimmy's story might or someone else's story might. So by including those stories in the template assignment, we get to connect those coaches to the assignment a little more deeply than if it was just, okay, here's your templates. Here's your template, but here's the story that goes with it. So that's another reason why I love Coach Basics. I also love the opportunity to tweak it. So like I said, I've got my, my monthly calendar here that I've written out all my 60 days, but there's an opportunity to, to tweak it because each assignment is probably 15 to 30 minutes long, maybe on any given day. 
you could add in or take away. If you see some discussion going on in your Coach Basics group about a specific topic, you could certainly add in or take away according to what's going on in the group for you. So you might have a day where the assignment is pretty small. Today was a little, was a, a very short 12 minute video about Success Club. So I could have added something else in if I had seen some discussion in there that, okay, we've got some questions on something, let's talk about that. So you have an opportunity to tweak it. And most importantly, you have an opportunity to make it come from you. I never copy paste it exactly. I copy paste it and tweak it. It's me talking. It's just a process that's been created that now we can repeat all the way down the line, but I'm gonna put it in my voice. And when my coach Meredith is done with this Coach Basics group and she does hers, it should be in her voice. And when my coach Jamie is done and she does hers in her group, it should be in Jamie's voice. So you have an opportunity to tweak it and make it be in your voice, which I think is crucial. And one of the last ones is for me, and I hope for you too, it eases stress. Coach Basics group eases stress of, oh my gosh, what do I do with these new coaches that I have on my team? This is what you do. You take this Coach Basics program and this is what you run them through for 60 days. And then you help them do that very same process with their coaches. So there's no more question of what do I do? How do I get them started? How do I get someone to Emerald? How do I get someone to Diamond? It's right there. And I'll be really honest with you, if you're not running a Coach Basics group or you're not in a Coach Basics group, you're cray cray because it is right there for you. And I know that they said it should be led by a Diamond coach. But let me tell you a personal story. One of my coaches who was pretty close to Diamond started a Coach Basics group before she hit Diamond. Guess what? She hit Diamond last week. Why? Because it pushed her as well. So I know they say coming up with corporate, it should be led by Diamond. I say run it anyway. I say run it, no matter how many you have. And I say, if you're just an Emerald coach and you maybe only have two coaches underneath you, then pair up with a couple others and put eight people in a group and have at it. I say the more energy, the better. The more buzz going on, the better. So maybe don't limit yourself to just being a Diamond coach and running that Coach Basics group. I say run it, because you know what's gonna happen? I bet you advance in Diamond. And then I bet you advance to one star, two star, and so on, because you will duplicate that process on down the line. So don't let that kind of hold you back. I think this, this program eases stress. You don't have to think about anymore what your process is. It's been laid out for you for two months. And then you just take that same process and go through it with those new coaches. I can't say enough about Coach Basics. I, you can probably tell that I just, I think it's genius. And if you're not running it or if you're not a part of it, I think you're crazy. I think that if you say you are committed to building this business, which you have to be or you wouldn't be on this webinar, and you're not either running or a part of Coach Basics, you're not serious about building this business because it has been laid out and put in place for you, and you can walk your coaches through it and walk their coaches through it to not take advantage of a program like that, I think is not being serious about your business. So if you're serious about your business, and you have to be or you wouldn't be on this webinar, you need to be running or participating in a coach basics group. And even if you've been a coach for a while and you think, I know all there is to know, go back and do the coach basics group. I guarantee you, you will learn something and I guarantee you, you will learn something in a different way that maybe you might have learned before but weren't really ready for. You might be ready for new information now that you weren't ready for when you first started. So I'm starting my next Coach Basics group, actually on Friday, November 1st. So I'll kind of be running two at the same time. My first one will be starting, to finish, we're almost done, and then I'll be starting this next one on November 1st. And I've got coaches in there who have been coaches for quite a while that have never done anything with the business. Perfect, because now we get to start at the fundamentals. We get to start at the beginning and they get to, and now when they've done these two months, they've done the, the 60 days, the modules, they get to decide, how does this business work for me in my life? How does that work for me? So they've got the fundamentals and they can figure it out. Before they didn't even have the fundamentals. Now they will. They can figure out how it works in their life. I heard noise. You hear noise, Jimmy? Yeah, I think I just muted everybody. Oh, but I think I might have muted you too. Hold on. Are you back? <laughs> 
Okay, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Obviously, somebody was in an office <laughs> going grocery shopping or doing something. At least they're on, though. You know, I can't be mad at that. That's right. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. There's, guys, there's so many. And, and I know um, Julie has to run. In fact, in my intro, I didn't even let you know that you're the you're a mom of three. Is that correct? I'm a mom of three. Three, three beautiful, girls. very active girls. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, the wife of a college football coach. She's a busy woman. Plus, the, so she, when she says some people just do beach body. That's, you're not looking at somebody who just does her beach body business. She's a, a busy, busy lady. And so I know that the majority of our coaches that are listening to you right now um, have full-time jobs and families and stuff like that. Um, what has it been about Coach Basics that you think helps people with busy schedules the most? I think the part that is it eases your stress because I don't have to get up in the morning and wonder what am I posting today to help them learn and second guess myself if what I'm giving them is truly going to help them. I don't second guess myself and I don't wonder if it's about what I'm going to post. I take the post, there we go. <laughs> I take the post and go straight, you know, go right through the module just like it's written, but I tweak it, I adjust it, I make it work for me. But the stress of not having to get up and think, oh my gosh, what am I teaching today with regard to that? And is it truly what they need to know, I love having the fundamentals all laid out. And I truly love that they know that they're going to get that same information to take to their own coaches. I think that's so powerful. That do you think it also helps as a participant that you already know what to do that day as well? Say you're not leading one yet, but you're a part of one. That same process yes. of this is my focus today. Absolutely. So, and it's only one focus a day. So it's only today was all about success club you know yesterday or the day before it was all about emerald so it's giving each coach a little piece at a time so at the end you really have those strong fundamentals and and anyone in any business any sport any anyone knows the fundamentals are where it's at because if you don't have the basics and i, I don't like that word very much but i like the word fundamentals better right. if you have fundamentals down that's so much more powerful than fancy sparkly stuff. Sure. You know, you, you might be able to run the trick play once or twice, but if you can run and get your first down every single time, that's far more powerful than a trick play every once in a while. So get the fundamentals down and then just continue to do them. I run my coach basics group like I do a challenge group. And I require a lot of engagement and a lot of interaction. I do videos. I want them doing videos. I want a lot of stuff going on in there. I want a lot of people talking and, and engaging, interacting. I think that's where the synergy comes. That's where the magic happens is when people are in there and engaging. Now, if you've run challenge groups, you know, sometimes challenge groups come together and they are just a beautiful thing. And people are talking and dialoguing and, and interacting and connecting. It's fabulous. And it's almost like you don't even have to be there. And then you'll have other challenge groups where you're like, hello, is anyone there? And that can happen with these coach basics groups. You're just going to have to work a little harder. You're just going to have to work a little harder. Guess what? That's our job. That's why we're called coach. One of the things that I took so away from leadership, and one of the things I took away from leadership, and I don't know if it, it struck a chord with you also, but I think it was Katie Hefner that was kind of talking about the expectations she sets before. Because I wrote, I, I'll be honest, I, and I told the group this before we ran our first one, the one I ran with the beta group with Leanne didn't go that well. And I wasn't sure if this process was going to work. And then I heard Katie Hefner talk about how she set the expectation kind of with the three strike rule. And this is what we yeah. expect going in. Is that something that you do with your participants as well? Like I, I found as that has helped. I just tell them that they have to interact and engage, but what I think helps, this might be the intangible part of it. I think I, because I teach fitness, I take what I do when I'm in front of a class and I put it in my Facebook group. So you have to, as we, as I learned, you know, forever ago with Shalene, you have to be you times two. You have to magnify your personality in that Facebook group and be bolder, more vibrant, more exciting than you might even be in person because it, it you just have to do that to come across bigger and brighter online and that's going to create more interaction you know the the videos that seem kind of silly you know the 30 second where i'm walking out of teaching a sandy class going are you kidding me this is crazy you know that could they love that stuff and then they get to know you and they get to know each other and it just 
there's so much more synergy going on when you are bigger and brighter and bolder. So you have to, to think, I have to do more because it's not in person, we're online. So I have to be bigger and brighter. I have to post more pictures. I have to post quotes and cool sayings and I have to do a little bit of video and I have to be willing to, to tag people and say, Sally Joe, where have you been? And you, you know, you've got to be willing to do it and you have to be in there. You can't just post in the morning and go, okay, you've got to post in the morning and then again, and then again, and then again, and every question they have, you've got to be reacting to it. You have to be all the time. Any question they have, I'm writing something. Any comment they have, I'm writing something. Is that time consuming? Yes. It's called building business. Yeah. Take some time. I'm going to work a lot now so I don't have to work a lot later. That's what I'm doing, building a business. And I, I found strong coaches. And I found that literally I will set, instead of having to react immediately to everything, I literally set an alarm on my phone for seven in the morning, noon at lunch, I pop in, answer some questions, I answer yep. at the end of the night. That way yep. the people running it, because the danger is, I think, is if you're, if you're not careful, you get into running things in management mode. And then uh -huh. we as the leaders are building our business at the same time, where I think it was what you said was great. I find is I'm teaching my coach basics group what to do. I have to look at myself in the mirror and go, am I doing what I'm asking them to do? Because at the end of the day, if we're not recruiting and continue to build, you're going one way or the other in this business and you have to set the example as the leader. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I think that I just think the interaction and the engagement is crucial and you have to know going in that you have to set that example. You also have to be realistic. There's always going to be groups that are better than others. They're just always what, well, you know, some groups would love me to wear my funky ears for, you know, our Google Hangout or whatever. And other groups would be like, what is she, that is weird. What is she doing? So you have to know your group and you have to understand that. But you've got to be able to pull out what they're willing to give and coach them that, you know, get in there and be vulnerable and share a little bit. And that's not going to happen on day one, but by day 30, that should be happening. They should be being a little bit more vulnerable and sharing a little bit more because that's where the power is. When they share what that why is and they want to, you know, do something really big and special with this business, that's powerful because now they just created 10 or 12 people who are holding them to it and are cheering them on. So anytime they've got an issue or a success, they come right to that group and say, oh, I just did this and 10 or 12 people are going, that is awesome. Or, oh, this just happened. And 10 or 12 people are going, hey, have you thought about doing this? Mm -hmm. So you've got to create that that synergy in that group for, the, for that to happen because that just helps everybody. And everything that's going on in that group will happen later for those coaches in their own groups. Mm -hmm. So that's going to help them as they help each other grow and celebrate each other's recognitions. It's going to help them when they're doing their own groups later too. So they need to see how to work through some of those situations without me telling them how to do it. Awesome. Got it, Julie. I love it. This is so good stuff. And like I said, I get the pleasure of like, I get to pick Julie's brain whenever I want to. And I'm still taking two pages of notes here, uh, which hopefully- We talk all the time. We do, we do, we talk a lot. And it's just like, what? Oh, what about this? What do you think about that? You know, so um, that's what I'm saying. Like, hopefully you guys are taking these notes and I'm gonna talk about, um, our next coach basics group is going through here in just a little bit, but I knew uh, Julie has, you have one daughter is doing something this evening you have to run to, right? Well, here's what I did. I got my senior in high school to go pick her up. Oh, nice. <laughs> so See, I'm okay. So if they have questions, delegation. Okay, okay we'll, we'll, we'll just take a couple minutes here, guys. If you have questions, for Julie, uh, the fact that, that she moved around her um, schedule, that's awesome because that's why I moved. Normally, our, our guests are somewhere in the middle after I've yacked for a while. And I'm like, no, 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 in and out. This is what we're doing here. So but so take advantage of this, guys. You have the, the Q&A box right there. I have it open. Um, if you have questions, let me know. I will relay that uh, to Julie. Okay. And uh, please take advantage of this opportunity and her um, volunteering uh, her time. Oh, here we go. Um, okay. Uh, one question from Kareem says, how do you deal with coaches who say they want to grow the business, but then just don't show up? Well, that is called beach body. <laughs> that will happen forever and ever and the rest of your life. Uh, you know, that, that is, it's always going to happen. That's no different than a challenger who says, yes, I'm in. And then they never hit purchase. 
So that that's just human nature, and that you're always going to have that. You know, it, it is a numbers game. So certainly, if you are looking at your downline and you've got 15 coaches and 10 of them say they're in, probably six of them are in. So if you find that you you feel like you personally have a smaller number that you might not be able to create enough energy with, I absolutely pair up with another coach that's got three or four or another three of you that each have three or four and bring 12 people into a group and run that coach basics group together and take turns posting each week and create a little bit more buzz. I, I do believe that a good number is anywhere between 10 and 15. After that, you start to lose kind of manageability of it. You start to lose comments. You miss when people say stuff. But if you have three people, you just may not get the excitement and the buzz in the group that will help help them learn as well. So if you have just a couple of your coaches that want to do it, pair up with other coaches. And you you have to work as Jimmy, we've heard this forever. You have to work with the willing. Mm -hmm. They say they want to do it, but they don't follow through. It's no different than a challenger who doesn't push, you know, purchase. It's no different than a person who wants to come take my class and then oh, no, never really shows up. There just will always be people who just never really show up. And that will be how they live their life. They will never really show up. So you need to look for the people who want to show up. That's great. Um, and John, I accidentally closed your question before I read the whole thing. But I think the basis of it said, is it about the Google Hangouts if, if you don't have a lot of participation? Do you, do you make that mandatory? Oh, uh, here he goes. If you have a poor turnout on the Hangouts portion, how do you boost the value to encourage more people to go? And how, so how do you schedule it? This is a good one, and I have my answer, but I want to hear yours. How do you schedule it with so many people's different schedules when you say, here's the Hangout time? Okay, here's my answer, and don't tell Beachbody. <laughs> I don't do the Google Hangouts. I don't. You know why? Because we have a lot of people with a lot of different schedules. And I am trying to get them to understand that this business works in their life, and adding that adds one more thing to their day. So we, in my groups, we've just used more video. I'll do video that talks to them and I post that in there and then I'll have them do some video back to me. I also build, and this is, you know, I know kind of um, specific to me, but some of you might be doing it as well. I build pretty locally. So I tend to see my coaches pretty often. Anyway, I don't need a Google Hangout. I also do one-on-one -on -one calls with them every week, the ones that are in this particular group. So we're talking one-on-one -on -one every week for 30 minutes or whatever that they might need. And then I'll do some video and I'll have them do some video. I, I don't do the Google Hangouts. Something, and that, that's an option. I like the fact, I know in, in the, the group we were running that when I would post a video or we would encourage, here's the post, we encourage you to respond via video, that there was much more life in the group. Uh, what mm -hmm. I've done also is offer um, like two options of, of I, I use that Zoom us instead of google hangouts but yeah. same concept um and i'll offer two times on two different days so yeah. one in the morning for 30 minutes one in the evening and it's the same way we do with this crew call you know i record them and people have access to them but obviously they're going to get my q a the live portion of that and i just try to add the value that way mm -hmm. uh, you can watch the recording or if you want to be able to ask a question you know jump on and i literally will have people that can't interact but they have their phone set up and I can see they're in their cubicle and they're listening. And I'm like, to me, that shows somebody who's really serious right. as well. Um, Absolutely. Let's see. Vicki says, I love that she uses a plain book. <clears throat> I'm a teacher too. And I can't believe I didn't think of that. I'm officially <laughs> buying a new one this week and starting to implement that November 1st. Please th tell her thank you from a fellow teacher. <laughs> I was a high school English teacher for nine years and then got into fitness because that's a big pay increase. Let me go from <laughs> high school teaching to teaching kickboxing. Woo! That was went over really well in our house. However, um, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Thank goodness. Thanks to Beachbody. So right. sometimes you got to take the risk. You got to take the jump. I mean, right. I took a jump into, I had no idea what I was taking the jump into. I just knew I could not be in the classroom my life, my entire life with three children and a husband who's never home, never home. Someone had to be home. So we took a leave for me to stay home took a jump into fitness um just so i get my y membership paid for and then i nice. took a jump into beach body had no idea what i was doing none for eight months did nothing with the business had no clue what i had in my hands so if you are thinking about taking the jump i say take it life's too short to not take the take the jump awesome i like that we got one last question um 
Shannon asks, how do you know when enough is too much or enough? I like, I like, like, oh, like I post inspirational videos on my fitness journey. I get positive feedbacks, but some negative ones too. How do you know what draws people in? Who's posting negative feedback in your group? You I don't think this is group. I am assuming this is why they're looking. On regular but, Facebook? Yeah, I think this is outside of a Coach Basic situation, just a, her via her social media. Uh, Shannon does a lot of stuff. Uh, I watch Shannon a lot um, of her workouts, and it's very, it's very, it's very fitness oriented. And so right. you you know how it goes. For every three uh -huh. people that say you're inspirational, you get the. Uh -huh. If you talk about Shakeology one more time, I may jump off this clip, person. Um, there's a reason why there's a block button on Facebook, and <laughs> you can take those people off your friend list because, you know, here's what I'm about. That's who you are. Shannon, this is what you're about, this is what you believe in, this is what you're passionate about. People who aren't passionate about something need something to gripe about and talk about. I don't need to hear that on my page. You control your page. They don't control your page. You get to decide what's kept on your page. They don't. If you don't like it and it's negative, delete it. Delete it. I, I, I don't understand. Um, I guess I do. I suppose it's human nature. It's much easier to hate than it is to you know, be positive, but those people that do that are generally the ones, A, they need our help the most, B, they're most resistant to it. And if it continues, I don't want that toxicness around me. I'm, they're just not going to be my Facebook friend anymore. We don't have to be Facebook friends with everybody. We can't coach the world. Right. Hit delete. Hit delete. And if they're posting something negative in a challenge group or in um, a coach basic group, that's definitely time for a one-on-one -on -one personal private conversation off any social area. You want to do that one-on-one. -on -one. Agreed. But Julie, I cannot thank you enough. I'm glad this is recorded and going down. This will be one that I point people to often. Um, I'll get you a copy of it too, if you need it for your peeps. And yeah. anytime that uh, uh, I can, I can return. the rest of the night. I'm just going to keep them on all night long. I please do. I, I think I'm going to join you. You know what? Her, can you, one last funny story and then I'll let you go and guys, I'll get to the rest of the call. Um, I took a trip to Orlando right after Kelly found out she was pregnant, right? And I was in Orlando for some business stuff and I happened to decide to go to Disney World with some friends of mine that I used to work at Disney with. And it dawned on me, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have a kid soon and they're gonna need ears. Well, we didn't know boy or girl yet and we had two names picked out. Well, we, we were pretty sold on the boy's name. We weren't quite sure on the girl's name and I didn't know. And so I said, you know what? I'm either going to have amazing ears for my son or a very funny story for my daughter. And I bought nice. this before I, I even knew if he was a boy or a girl at the Magic Kingdom. Um, so even though he won't wear these around the house very much, but this hat, will this will always be very sentimental to me. Yes. Uh, right now, it's Definitely. all he wants to do is... And I don't know if you saw our picture on social media for Halloween. We all went as Toy Story. He was Buzz. I saw Kelly. And Kelly I is Jesse. Kelly. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll show it to you. And so all he wants to do is get in his Buzz Lightyear costume, like constantly. So he's not crazy with the Mickey ears, but he's not crazy about one Mickey hat, but he'll put on a full pleather Buzz Lightyear outfit. Okay. That's okay. I'd say he probably takes after you a little bit. A little. I think he's a little <laughs> dramatic. So, Julie, have a great evening. Um, much love to your family for letting us borrow you. And, Absolutely. guys, I hope you got a lot of this. We're going to let Julie go. I'm going to continue with a few things on the call and then let you get, get back. So, Julie, thank you so much awesome. and have a great thank night. Thank you. Uh huh. Let's see. There we go. And there she goes. Okay, guys, great. Um, hope you like my hat here. So I'm going to get to some things real quick. We're going to fly through some of this recognition. Uh, I think it's important, but there's some things I want to get to, and I also want to get you out of here so you can get back to your business or your family or whatever this scheduled time is for you. So let's run right quick. If you're new and you don't understand some of what this, some of this uh, recognition is, um, ask on the crew wall. We'll get around to it. Usually I do a little longer explanation, but I want to get right through this. So the Crew 200 Club this week is John and Deborah, Michelle, Lisa, Christiane, Julie, Kareem, Jennifer, Kobe, Adrian, Jed, and Suhana. Congratulations to you guys. The Crew 300 Club is Michelle with, and two of her CBCs, Mary, John, Tool, and Brenda, my second CBC by itself, and Tara. The Crew 400 Club, Christy Weiler, go girl. We had a great talk this week. Um, I'm really excited to see what's coming out of your camp. Um, 
over this next month. Uh, watch out, people. This girl, uh, I think, has has a new fire lit uh, within her, and I can't wait to see uh, her and all our Diamond Coaches uh, just here in a couple weeks in New Orleans. Uh, we got some new surprises that I'm not telling you about because I'm so bad about telling you about the surprises beforehand. Um, crew 500 to 999, Alex Kristen, Andrew, Angela, Kobe Linder it, combined CBCs, and Shannon Lee. And once again, hanging out in the 1000 Club all by himself, Jamil is just rocking it, guys. Um, I would watch what this gentleman is doing. He is leading by example. He is lapping the rest of the field. Um, he really is setting a bar that all of us should strive to hit. This guy is a busy, you were talking busy professional, doctor, on call, not a lot of time, and he's setting this example. Um, and he probably has the least amount of time than any of us. And it goes to the old, the old adage is the more time you have to do stuff, the less you get done. And uh, you want to find some successful coaches. You want to uh, surround your, yourself with some some really go-getting coaches. Go find successful people, doctors, lawyers, business owners. Don't think that just because they already have a very successful career – that they don't have time for this business because I know many of them, you look at Wayne Wyatt's orthodontist, Christina Delgado is a lawyer, Dave Ward was a lawyer, um, Mike Ryan owned a real estate company. I mean, these people were already successful in business. They're a great way to find, if you're like, all I'm surrounding myself with discount coaches um, that don't want to build this business, well, go find people that are business-minded and be bold when you talk to them. A lot of these people may be successful in their career, but they don't have significance or they're tied to their job and they, they, they're they making a lot of money, but they don't like their lifestyle. <clears throat> or maybe they're just not taking care of their health in the midst of building their wealth. There's so many ways to reach out and still help these people. Um, rank advancements. Congratulations to Brandy Martin. Her second CBC is Emerald. Guys, we have, uh, I want to say we have three or four coaches now that have a second CBC. I want to know whose second CBC gets to diamond first. Um there's a few of you that have had second CBCs for long. Like, oh, Kelly has a second CBC. John, Kobe, Brandy, Michelle Kellogg. I mean, Michelle Kellogg already has her second CBC to Diamond. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to see who's the next crew coach that gets their second CBC to Diamond. So that'll be interesting to see who's first in that race. Uh, Deonai Brooks and Ross LaRocco, congratulations to all of you guys for being Emerald or a new Emerald. Uh, that's amazing because um, you guys are starting to get leads. Free customers from the infomercials, and most importantly, you get team cycle bonuses, which is bananas. Team cycle bonuses are fun. Let's talk about Success Club. You still have about a week, uh, not even a week. Yeah, the end of the week, I guess on Thursday, um, to make Success Club. Let's review real quick how to make Success Clubs. So we moved from Miley Cyrus, we moved to sports. Um, it's hockey season, it's about to be basketball season and football season. It's the greatest time of the year because all the sports are playing at once. You get Success Club by hitting a minimum of five points. You get one Success Club point for a Shakeology HD order, just like you would a hockey goal. Um, and you get two Success Club points, just like you would a Michael Jordan slam dunk, two points, a challenge pack. Doesn't matter if they're a new coach or a new customer, one point Shakeology HD, two points challenge pack. Quick review of how to earn Success Club five with three people. Frank there gets a challenge pack. Jerry gets a challenge pack. Busy Mom Lisa gets Shakeology HD. Bam, bam, bam. You have hit a total of five points. You've made Success Club by just helping three people. That's why I say you can make Success Club in a day if you choose to. You just got to help three people. And you're all on social media, so you have access to a billion people right now. So I think three of them would love your help. Right now we have uh, Success Club 10, Jamil and Tulin leading the pack. Uh, Shannon and Chase, Dan, Wade, Valerie, Vic. Uh, Solange and Cindy all above Success Club 5. Here's the rest of us slackers below the line. Let's do something, guys, and I'm talking to me included. You can see I'm not above that line either, so I can't even talk. Uh, i got to look in the mirror when I'm talking to you guys as well. Um, that's why I literally put a big post on Instagram today, and I have 25 people that said they were interested in our new internship. Uh, so you can talk about Crew Basics, and I called it an internship and said, do you want to learn how to make an extra – you know, $500,000 a week in six months. Uh, and there were people that were interested. It's amazing. Right before the holidays, people were interested in making money. Uh, here's all of our new crew coaches. Uh, Cassie, Stacy, Jennifer, Emily, Kim, Emil, Joan, Aaliyah, Jordan, Leanne, Kendria, Kim, Anne-Marie, Sarah, Jamie, Sean, and Philip. 
welcome to the crew. I love that this sticker is getting bigger and bigger, and soon we're going to have to go to multiple stickers. And uh, I, I would love to see the crew really just lead the network when it comes to recruiting because the more people we're recruiting is the more people we're helping, and the more people we're teaching how to help others. And that's when this thing just grows like wildfire. Big shout out to my man, Dan Wolf, with the big gigantic guns and the cool band and stuff. Congratulations. He's the top recruiter this week, dude. Strut around, wear that outfit every day. So here's the big announcement, guys. You've heard about Crew Basics. Some of you are already in a basics group. Um, I'm currently ending one, running another. I know that Lean Nation has a group going on. I know John and the Rainmakers are doing one. Um, so I'm going to tell you a few things. If you are already in a Coach Basics group, don't apply for this one. Don't think, oh, well, this is Jimmy's group. I'm going to get in that one too. There's no reason for you to get information overload. If you're not applying the things you are learning in the crew basics group you are in now, what makes you think you're going to apply it just because there's a different leader posting things in there? Honor the person that you're working with. Honor your business and honor what you want to do by applying the information you have now. They're the same basics. It's the same information. It's up to you to apply it. If you're like, well, my group's kind of dead. You know what? Be the person that changes that. Be the person that's like, I'm going to reply every day in there. I'm going to post a video, whether it's you as a participant or you as a leader. If your group's dead, you have the power to liven it up. The same way that if my group's dead, I can grab my phone and make a video and do something to liven that group up immediately. It requires all of us to step our game up. Let's not look at lowest common denominator and be like, I'm posting, but nobody's doing anything. Well, let what do you do to fire up the troops? If you're in the group and you're like, I feel like I'm the only one, reach out to that leader and you guys rock this thing. So that's one before I ever talk about this group. If you're in it, own this thing, right? Whether you're in a 30-day group or a 60-day group, treat that time like gold and apply what you're learning. Don't be a person that takes in the information and processes it. Learn, do, tweak, baby. That's what we talk about all the time. Learn it, apply it. Boom, boom, boom. So this next group, that I will be running, Kelly will be managing, will be starting on November 4th. If you're already in a group, have already been through a group, I ask you not to apply for this one. Why? Because when you come out of a crew coach basics group, you have all the tools you need to be successful. You still have access to the crew wall for any questions. You still have access to your sponsor coach and any groups that they're running. And the best thing is what I would do if I'm coming out of a group is I would pair up with somebody else you just went through it with and create another group. You run one. And you heard Julie say that, that there was a coach that decided to run one and that's what got her to Diamond because by having to teach others, they had to own it themselves, right? So now, if you aren't in a group, you haven't been in a group, you've been looking at these groups, you're not sure or whatever, and you're like, Jimmy, I'm ready. I've heard Julie talk about it only takes about 15 to 30 minutes a day, that it breaks it up into little bite-sized pieces, that people are hitting Emerald and Success Club at record numbers that go through this and apply it, and I want to be a part of that, then that's you. Requirements. Must be a crew coach. Must not be in another crew basics group or coach basic group. Must be willing to participate daily. My personal groups, you get a three-strike rule. You don't post three times, you're out. I love you, but we got to work with those that are serious. So if you're serious, then this is where you want to go. Take a picture of this or write down this right now. Facebook.com slash groups slash Nove New Crew. N O V N E W C R E W. That's November's New Crew Group. Um, we will be running that in there. Um, so I ask you, um, and, and the internship. So for people that saw my post today talking about an internship, that's all this is. Guys, the same stuff. You can package things a million ways. I can talk about a challenge group and a challenge pack, or I can talk about. I have a support group and I have a discount bundle pack. It's the same thing. It's just different verbiage because different verbiage is going to attract different people. So if you looked at my thing today and you're like, oh, I want to be in Jimmy's internship group and you're already in one of my basics groups, you're in it. You're one of my interns. Um, it's just me experimenting with the way you package things. Think about who your ideal client is, guys. Who are the people you attract? Are you around teachers? Are you around IT guys, you're around actors. How do they talk? What would be appealing to them, right? Um, so, and, and package it to where like my friends would be, what do they already spend money on? What do they already put time on? How can I package? So I started a clean eating challenge group around football season. And, and, I, and, I, and I advertised it about eating clean between Sundays so we could enjoy our beer and nachos on the weekends. 
I had more people apply, right? Oh, that sounds that's pretty doable. Um, so uh, internship, crew basics, coach basics, fundamentals, however you want to word it. Uh, so that's what that is. So if you're in any type of group like that where you're getting daily posts, um, I'm going to ask you not to apply for this group and to own and finish the group you're in. And then at the end of that one, um, I am going to show you how to start your own and help you do that. Um, uh, uh, I'm looking at other questions here. Sorry. Um, so that's that. There's your, there's your URL. That's where you need to go. Uh, remember, we have extra webinars coming up. Some of this may adjust a little bit with the tra tra travel schedule and with the New Orleans trip coming up. But normally, uh, all my crew diamonds, we get to together. Uh, a, you get access to a, a smaller private Facebook group where I'm in quite a bit. Um, and we have our own hangouts the first Thursday of every month. And then everybody that makes crew 500 or plus, uh, the third Thursday of every month, we have a video hangout as well. Remember, you have, those of you still trying to make the Success Club, this is, I can't tell you again how much an amazing deal this is for somebody that paid $250 for P90X alone when it came out, 180 bucks for P90X and P90X2 um, and challenge groups. Uh, there's people that don't want to put on an extra 20 pounds this holiday season. Help them be able to enjoy their holiday parties without putting on extra weight because <clears throat> let them go to the party, but let them drink Shakeology that morning and do P90X before they go to the holiday party and have eight cocktails and all the little weenies, right? Um, use this. Uh, again, here's your way. $900 by the holidays. Please take a picture of that. Please team up with the success partner. Put together a challenge group. This is doable for anybody. An extra $900 could change your world for the holidays. And you, you know who I'm talking to because you just went, oh, I need that. Like in your gut, you're like, I need that. Find a success partner on the crew wall and make this happen. Put together a challenge group. Put people in the crew community groups if you're not running a challenge group on your own. Uh, we're wrapping up uh, <clears throat> October. If you haven't got GoPro, please get it. Read it. I think the especially chapter one is one of my favorite things in the world, talking about owning your business and uh, what you can do with it. It's a great audio too. I get it on audio. Again, I listen to everything on audio because I can do it any time. Um, and try to trying to set time aside to read. Um, I don't. I'm not real strong with that. Um, so, uh, quick question from Aaron: Any points if they order a program without a challenge pack? Nope. The only way to get Success Club points is Shakeology Home Direct or a challenge pack. Uh, a great way to go if you have people that are already have the programs, introduce them to Shakeology. You can still help them uh, with their nutrition because a lot of people are doing our programs not seeing success because they're not following the nutrition plan. Yeah, John says, if they're reading GoPro, there's there's a certain little phrase you should be telling your sponsor coach anyway. Um, so uh, I'll let you find that out when you get to the book. Um, thank you guys for those that are, that are, uh, that are the feedback on here. Remember, we need, um, we need stories, 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 stories. Always post those on the crew wall. Your new coaches, please take a picture of this, put it in. We're going to be tweaking this a little, but this URL will not change. But we're going to be tweaking exactly what the new coaches get as far as a new to crew webinar. It's going to be much shorter. It's not going to be the 40-minute one there is now. Because so many people are running Crew Basics groups, it's just going to be a way to edify the Crew Basics groups that um, the sponsor coach is running. Um, it's going to give them a, a brief overview, and then it's going to really encourage them to get uh, – engaged with their sponsor coach to get plugged into uh, a crew basics group. So um, we're, we're actually helping you do your job um, and helping you get your people started and engaged in a group. And I'm, I'm shooting a new video about that uh, later this week. Um, and so the, it'll change just a little and I'll let you guys all see that uh, when it's out. But please remember, this is the first place you want to, you want to make sure they're in the crew wall. You want to introduce them. Encourage them to give their three W's, but you want to make sure that they have this URL so they can opt in and get that video ASAP. Um, so that's it, guys. L can't wait to see your feedback and your takeaways on the crew wall. Please um, reach out to Julie Boris on her page. Um, I know she has a personal page and she has a fan page. It's uh, 
It's facebook.com slash Julie Boris Inspire Fitness, I think. Uh, if you go to her personal page, her cover photo tells you where the other one is. Please just go give her a lot of love and just tell her how much um, you've learned and appreciate her tonight. And tell her what you've applied. Don't just tell her, oh, I learned a lot and you and rah, rah, rah. Tell her what you actually went and did with what the information that you got tonight. That's the greatest way to honor a teacher is to show them what you've applied. So that's it, guys. Y'all have a great night. Um, Diamonds, I will see you in New Orleans shortly. We'll be going down there um, pretty soon to start prepping all the fun and surprises for you. Um, talk to you soon. Y'all crush it. Deliver hope. Good night.